Woodbine by Windhand. Uh, great track off the Soma record. If this is your first time at the channel, my name is Steve. This is Does It Doom, the YouTube channel where we feature weekly guitar lessons and gear demos in the stoner, doom, sludge, and drone metal genres. So if that's your type of thing, please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell for more weekly doom content. In this video, I'm going to be using this uh, 2005 Gibson SG VOS. It is a uh, the first guitar that I sort of got when I got a nice guitar, like the first nice guitar I got, and I've had it the longest. Curious to know which guitar you guys are using in this lesson, and uh, you know what is that nearest and dearest guitar to you that uh, you feel like you'll never get rid of. Let me know in the comments section because I am curious. Uh, we got it tuned in C standard, Ernie Ball, Burley Slinky Strings, and uh, that's what we're going to be using. 11 to 52 is what I think I've got on it today. I'm going to be using a Mad Amp GT120. Uh, this is what the amp uh, is set to, so all the EQ is set to noon. Pretty simple there. And uh, then I'm going to be using a Blackhawk Amplifiers Valkyrie Drive. A really cool pedal here that uh, is basically sort of simulates a um, LM308 bass rap pedal smashing sort of into a Model T. Really is gonna give you that sound reminiscent of Sun or of course early wind hand stuff. And uh, so that's what I'm gonna be using for this lesson. And so um, we're gonna get into it right now. I'm gonna play a quick demo and uh, then we're gonna come back and sort of break it down riff by riff. So. The song is in the key of uh, F minor. All right, guys, so there is a demo of the song. Uh, as I said, the song is in the key of F minor, uh, uses the F natural minor scale. And uh, this is the full scale. Uh, obviously, most of the, song, of, of the notes are on that six string, rooted on that six string. All of, the, all of the notes are rooted on that six string. And then you add in this sort of uh, major seventh interval, which is a really doomy interval in that very last outro riff. So sounds really good. And um, we will sort of break them each down riff by riff. I'm gonna uh, throw on a noise gate here just uh, to clean up the audio here a bit for the lesson portion. But the first riff, as I said, rooted at this Six string fifth fret, which is an F note because we are tuned down two full steps or four semitones. That first riff goes like this. And 
And uh, for Garrett's style of playing, you'll notice he's always sort of playing over the, the upper frets or like maybe the, the front of the neck pickup to really get a heavier sound using that, using the bridge pickup, but playing over, over the uh, neck pickup, so. So really cool riff, really simple. You've got that root note. Then this is a minor sixth note, a minor third, and a perfect fourth. So all natural minor, the fifth fret, first fret, eighth fret, and 10th fret. Really simple, really cool. And then the next riff is pure natural minor. Uh, it's going to use similar notes. Uh, you're gonna be using this root note again, a minor third, a perfect fourth, and then a flat seventh here at the third fret. So. So two very simple riffs sort of echoed throughout the song using that natural minor scale, uh, sounding really good. If you guys are digging this video, please hit that like button. And uh, the last riff here, outro, kind of starts with single notes. And uh, as I said, again, it's natural minor, but it's gonna throw in this major seventh note here at the fourth fret, which is a really doomy interval, sounds really good. And uh, so that riff goes like this. You sort of start on the, well, I'll play through. So playing through it with those single notes first, you're sort of sliding up from the first, first fret all the way to that fifth fret. Then you're sort of gonna just play it again, very similar way using power chords. Uh, he doesn't pick as many of the notes when he's playing the end riff, but uh, it sort of goes like this. So. Just play it together.
All right, so that is the majority of the riffs in the song, not the majority, all of them. Uh, I do want to take a quick sort of look at the solo section. I'm not going to really play it, but I've got a really great video of Garrett playing it that came from the Max Volume Silence YouTube channel. Uh, I've got them featured on my YouTube channel. You should really check them out. They've got a ton of great uh, stoner doom and just metal in general videos. Um, but here is a cool video of Garrett playing. <laughs> So you can see there, um, hopefully that was cool for you to check out. You can obviously put the YouTube video in slow motion if you sort of want to look at what he's doing, but I've got all the scale notes that are used in the solo in there. It's all natural minor, and uh, so you're, you sort of got the root here at the 17th fret, and he's sort of using this sort of pattern. He's got these unison bends in there. He uses this major second here. Anyways, uh, that's the basics of it. You can sort of study what he's doing if you're curious about it, but then the, he sort of outros it with the same riff that's sort of that second riff I taught, except he's just using the octave notes uh, played on the fourth string here. So that is the solo section of the song. Uh, I want to thank all you guys for coming out here today and checking out the stream. Um, and as always, if you haven't checked out the uh, tuning guide yet, I highly recommend you check that one out. It is, uh, I feature the tuning and string gauge of nearly 70 stoner doom sludge and drone metal bands. You can check out that website right there, link in the description, www.doesitdoom.com forward slash tuning guide uh, and get hooked up with that guide. I do keep it up to date. Uh, I've sent out a couple of revisions so far, really just one revision. There's been two versions of it, but you can check it out there. And um, anyways, I hope you did enjoy that demo and we can uh, sort of check out a little bit here of the Valkyrie Drive. Um, if you guys do have any questions, we can do a bit of Q&A here, but this is the pedal I was using, the Valkyrie Drive by Blackhawk Amplifiers. Really cool pedal. Like I said, it's a uh, basically emulates an LM308 style rat hitting a Sun Model T is sort of the best way to describe what's got going on there. You've got uh, a volume, a gain, a clean blend, 
and then a tone control here along with uh, three clipping options, which I believe are MOSFET, no clipping, and LED, and then sort of three input capacitances that you could select here, uh, being sort of a full setting, a uh, tight setting, and a thick setting. I've got it on the thick setting over here using the uh, MOSFET clipping, and I do, um, I really like the clean blend option here that you can uh, experiment with. It's great for bass, but I like it on guitar as well. Uh, really cool pedal in general, and uh, I think it does the wind hand sun sort of thing really well, actually. I've had a great time playing with this pedal, um, and uh, highly recommend it. I do have, uh, for if anybody's looking for them, I've got a few more hats. Uh, we are working on some more merch. I've got, I'm doing some back patches. Uh, some screen printed uh, 13 by 13 inch back patches and uh, another run of shirts because I know a lot of the a lot of guys missed out on the on the life complete shirts and everybody's kind of wanting those so uh, www.doesitdoom forward slash shop if you want to check out any of the stuff we got available right now I just got hats uh, in both designs along with stickers that are included with every order as always you can follow me on Instagram uh, Facebook and Twitter at does it doom and uh, you know, all my content is being updated there daily. So until next time, guys, always remember, Tony Iomi is your friend. Thank you all for coming out. We will see you in the next one. Later.